Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm looking at this Norwegian Arctic Field Ration Pack. This one is menu 18 and it consists of cod in creamy curry sauce, a tortilla wrap, Mexican style. Um, we've got some dark chocolate, protein bars, dried fruits, an energy drink, wipes, gum, and a Ziploc bag and some coffee according to the instructions. This one is best before March 2022. Quite a compact little kit when you think it has 1300 calories. Right, let's have a little look. Let's get inside it and have a look. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I find all of these MREs are quite difficult to open, but this particular one is not the same as the US ones, which I find very hard. That's nice and easy to open. That's a good positive for me. I like that. So, raisins. A real brand dark chocolate energy bar. Cranberry protein bar, that sounds nice. So you've got some condiments here. Chewing gum. Now oh, there's the, uh, the cleaning wipe. Colombian coffee, hmm, that'd be interesting, it's freeze dried coffee, but we'll give it a go. That looks really, not only freeze dried, but really, um, you know, we air sucked out of it, quite like that. I'm really excited to try this one. So the cod in creamy curry sauce. Wow. So it's 102 grams dry, I should say it just about here. It's hard to see on the pack because it's a vacuum pack, so it's a bit bumpy. 102 grams dry or 530 once water's been added. Nice. A spoon, not a spork, but a spoon. Ooh. Oh, this is the uh, the Mech, Mech, oh, I'll put my teeth back in, the Mexican style beef wrap. That sounds interesting, it's got beef filling in it. Mm. Ready to eat. I'm sure you're supposed to um, heat that up. Oh, that's interesting, there's no, no heating thing. So we've got the, uh, the lemon energy drink, or a taste of lemon it says there. So energy, fast energy for short breaks. Interesting, open, just here, open, filter there. And the plastic bag, which I guess you can use for whatever you want. Um, waste, I'll probably use that for. And that's the packaging. So it's quite a neat, compact little kit. Shame it doesn't have a self-heating ration system in it. Um, I thought they did, but obviously not. That's not a problem. Let's get some water boiled up and uh, let's make a start on that. Get that one rehydrated and see what it tastes like. Um, yeah, that's fascinating. I mean, Mexican style beef wrap. <laughs> let's see what that tastes like. Should be interesting. So obviously I'm at home today, so I'm gonna just boil the kettle and pour that over the Mexican style beef wrap. Uh, and also, let's see if we get a little hiss here. Maybe not, oh no. Let's do another little bit, hang on, let's see. Ready? Ooh, cheeky little number. I'm really intrigued, <laughs> oh man, that looks weird. Look at that. Let's have a sniff. That smells. <laughs> okay, if any of you have um, fish tanks and you feed those little flakes of food to your fish, 
That is exactly what that smells like. Oh wow. But as I sort of crunch it in, I'm getting nicer smells coming through. That looks nice and chunky, doesn't it? For, for a freeze dried. Let's get the kettle on that. Where are we filling up to? So, tear here, then, oh, and then you can tear it again to eat. Oh, that's clever. So you can seal it and then tear it a bit more. There's a little tear point. I wonder how much water. I know I just read this out to you, but I'm having a bit of brain drain. Okay, so on the bit you tear off, it's written there. Mm, just add a hot water, stir well and enjoy. Ah, there's the fill line right in front of me. So let's do that. She is that's hot. Okay, I've got it. There's the fill lines. Oh, that smells really nice. Okay. Now I know with these sort of freeze dried meals. And past experiences, it does pay to give them a little stir before you leave them. I think my spoon's just broken. Let's have a look. This spoon is garbage, let me tell you. Uh, it's cracked, cracked there. Oh, cracked there. Alright, it's going to get a proper spoon. That's a disappointing. So let's give it a stir. A proper spoon. That smells lovely. I think that needs a little bit more water. That smells good. Stirred it in good. It smells really nice. It smells a lot nicer than when I opened it. Mm. Tastes nice a little bit, I've just tried. All right, let's give that eight minutes. Come back to it. Mm. Let's heat that up. Yeah, while waiting for those, let's give a one of these dark chocolate bars. Now, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate at all. So, this should be interesting. And a small bit to try. Mm. That's very nice though. Very nice, very smooth. Mm. Nice flavour. Mm. Smells very sweet. Very sweet and sugary, very tasty, nonetheless. Mm. Not unusual. Mm. Nice. Caked in sugar, like the um, some of the more American ones, or the American ones, I should say, and the British. I think the British ones are caked in sugar. They're nice, plump, juicy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's good. So we've got some coffee. Let's give that a go as well. 
Boulder Mill. Not heard of that brand. Smells like instant coffee, funny enough. Smells nice. Mm. Now, I'm a bit of a coffee snob, and instant coffee I'd normally turn my nose up at, but maybe it's because I haven't had a coffee today, but that's not too bad at all. But it also comes with this energy drink, which is interesting. Just add three DL of cold water. I quite like these. Oh, 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 smells nice and lemony, really sharp. Okay, let's fill her up. Fill her up. Ugh. I think what would be nice if they had the the fill line on the inside. Um, some of them have sort of like a, a dark line around the inside, which I think is a nice touch. It makes it a lot easier to gauge, but that's just me being picky. Otherwise the packaging is nice and secure. Let's give it a shake. I'll pour it out into this glass so you can see. Smells really nice. Mm. That's nice, it's not too strong. Sometimes they can be a little bit strong. That's really good. The British Army one is um is a bit more hits you in the back of the throat, they call it screech, but this isn't quite as harsh. It's more of a refined one. Yeah, I quite like that. I have got the residue of the pack over my hands, so let's use the white. I quite like the whites when they're lemon scented. No, this one smells more like a hospital wipe. Doing the job perfectly fine. So let's try this tortilla. This is intriguing me. Have a hiss. Nah. <laughs> Smells gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Oh wow. Let's try a bit. I'm glad I heated it. I'm glad I didn't bite into that bit. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm trying to think how I can describe that. I'm trying to think how I can describe that best. It's like a spicy, dry bolognese meat in a tortilla. It's very good. It's very good. Mm. Could be hotter. Mm. Very nice. That's not disappointing at all. Didn't look that great, but mm. no, that's that's nice. It didn't look much, but it's substantial. Mm. Yeah. 
you could easily have that as a bit of lunch with the snacks. I'm going to save this. Save this for the end. Ready? Oh, oh wow, this. Now, I will admit that doesn't look appetizing there, does it? But let's give it a go. Oh man, that is really good. I was scared about this one. Ever since a friend of mine had a fish meal not so long ago. Cod in creamy curry sauce. Hmm. I would describe that more of a cod in mashed potato with vegetables, but it's bloody good. Mm. As I was saying, not so long ago, a friend of mine had a fish dish and it was just awful. But that, that's very nice, but it does need a little something. Let me grab it. I think a bit. This is another thing this could do with, actually. I know, I know. Um, a bit of hot sauce in there, perhaps. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be disappointed if that was served to me in a restaurant. That's lovely. Nice big chunks of fish. It's all hydrated well. I know I'm going to get slated for the ketchup, but you know what? Have you tried it with it? No, didn't think so. Mm, nom, 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 nom. That's really good. I like to try these things before I use them out in the field. Um. I was just saying it's rehydrated, but that bit hasn't. But um, yeah, I like to try these things before I go out in the field. But um, just to make sure they're not absolutely rank, because it's no fun when you're out in the cold and wet and you've got a rubbish meal. That's really nice. So what I tend to do is buy them and then mm, give them a give, you know, buy them and then try them out if they're rubbish. That's fine. If they're really good, I'll order again. Wow, that is that is something else. Yum yum yum. Really good. So a lot of people ask me where I get my MREs from, and I've picked them from all over, but I've just bought a massive box of various MREs, which you're gonna see in upcoming videos. And this company that I got them through, they're called mremountain.co.uk, for those of you in Europe. And if you're in the US, mremountain.com. Their service is second to none, let me tell you that. And what I find with a lot of MRE companies, or people that sell MREs, is they say they've got things, and when it comes to ordering them, they don't have them in stock. These guys, anything they've got on their website, we're in stock, it's great. And it's quality stuff, it's not the rubbishy ones. Mm, I'm good, that's really good. There's this fish in there, let me see if I can get a big lump out. You know, sometimes you have MREs, if you ever try an MRE in there, you know, there's, there's very small bits of meat, but that bit there is a big bit of fish. Oh, hang on, let me get in focus. There we go. That big square bit there is a big bit of fish. Really good. No, it's a very mild curry. I would be hesitant to call it English. Anything above a very, very mild. Um, having worked for an Indian company for 15 years, if you put that on a plate and gave it to an Indian and said that's a curry, they would laugh you out of the place. On the spice level, it's, it's nothing, but it's very nice. Very nice. I think a touch more water would be good. And again, it would have been nice to have seen the, the fill lines on the inside. But again, nice little touches. You've got the, 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 the seal along the top. You can seal that up. So you put your rubbish back in. Or if you're eating it out of the pack, look at that. You can peel it again and get that little bit lower into the pack. So your spoon doesn't get dirty when it hits the bottom. No. The bottom's there, so you've still got that bit there, rather than the whole handle getting dirty and like in most. That's a really nice touch. Even better if it was across there, I think. Well, maybe not. Actually, 
Yeah, maybe. About the same, isn't it? I'm really enjoying this. Mmm. Really good. Got two pieces of chewing gum there as well. I'm going to try them out in a bit. So, marks out of 10. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, disappointing not to have sugar for your tea or coffee, or the coffee in this case. <clears throat> Personal preferences, I'm not a massive dark chocolate fan. Raisins are okay, but personally, they're not for me. Not something I would choose. They're the negatives. Positives. Great main meal. Great secondary meal. Great packaging. Drinks are really nice. Mm. Let's try that coffee again. And you know me guys, those, those of you who camp with me. Black, no sugar. That's not me, normally it's loaded with sugar and milk. And that's really nice, that, that coffee. It's got a, an unusual smell, I can't quite place it. Mmm, rustic kind of smell, nice. Um, that's really good. I think I'm gonna go for a steady eight. There's an eight out of 10 there. Had we had milk chocolate, uh, some sugar and something different here, I think that would have been a nine. But I'm gonna go for an eight and I'm gonna stick with that. Eight out of 10 for the Norwegian Arctic field ration. And that was menu 18. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Okay, so it's me again. I was just clearing up. I thought, oh, I didn't try gum. Ah, one down. Standard gum, but uh, some gum is quite poor and some gum isn't. Mm, I'm a Wrigley's man myself. These are all right. They're all right, but they're no Wrigley's. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.